Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. This is our Bitcoin morning update on this potential turnaround Tuesday. Um, so yeah, if you guys wouldn't mind smashing the like button, we shall go straight over to those Bitcoin charts. Um, so yeah, as you can see, Bitcoin, Bitcoin on the four hour. Uh, we had our our nice little Litecoin Walmart scam wick yesterday. Um, as you can see, um, you you got <laughs> you got to love you got to love crypto with um, with its uh, just with its scams. Make a fake website, uh, post out uh, post out big <laughs> fake Walmart website, post out post you accepting Litecoin, Litecoin of all coins, um, and then pump and dump the market. Obviously, this is just the Bitcoin market. I mean, clearly, if Walmart was going to start accepting any sort of crypto, it was good for crypto as a whole. So, so Bitcoin did get a pump, but also, obviously, Litecoin got a uh, particularly, uh, particularly uh, a bit more aggressive pump and dump. So, but hey, this is crypto. This is the this is the ridiculous uh, the, the ridiculous um, uh, market that we <laughs> that we live in. Um, but yeah, anyway. So, um, but yeah, as you can see though, we so we had a test down based off that a wick up test back down. Uh, back above uh, above this uh, support zone we've got uh, and can we can we finally uh, make a push up today on this uh, on this turnaround Tuesday hashtag turnaround Tuesday um, can we make a push back up once we get back above uh, we'll pretty much call it forty seven thousand dollars like round it up there in fact we will extend this up a little bit uh, to uh, forty seven thousand ish uh, yeah the level back there once we can get above here um, I do think we will see continuation uh, probably toward towards fifty thousand dollar level before um, before we then um, maybe play out some more sideways. Um, so obviously that is the bull case. The bear case is we do lose this horizontal down at uh, forty four thousand, um, and then we will be uh, we will be uh, testing our 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 laugh, our line in the sand basically, um, and then we'll be in a full a full squeaky bum mode at that point. So. Um, yeah, that is what we are looking at here. As I said, if we look at stock markets, if we just go over and look at stock markets here. Um, they are obviously on a dip, and and yeah, like I said, turnaround Tuesday, <laughs> famous expression in stock markets, um, is is the point where where uh, pretty much we could get a uh, we could get a basically a start to move back up here, um, and just get back to our highs and onwards and upwards as onwards and upwards as uh, as stocks always do. Um, if we then want to have a look also at the DXY, uh, whilst we are on the non-crypto charts, DXY um, looking like uh, well, not that he ever, not that he ever really get believe in double tops, but is this a double top? Um, potentially, um, we just obviously got to come down, uh, take out this, uh, take out this horizontal, take out this uh, trend line, and then we will be, uh, we will be off to the races to the downside. Uh, after testing it once, trying to, trying to, trying to mount a recovery and then testing it back down. I mean, there are all sorts of um, squint and head and shoulders if you want to have a look, a whole, uh, a whole load of it. So yeah, I mean, potentially. Um, we could see downside and then ultimately once we take out this this uh, horizontal um, it will be we will be going straight down but um, but to the upside though we've clearly got a bit of a level here we could we could draw a horizontal over here just a, sh a smaller um, a uh, just a, a s oh here we go can I can I draw the horizontal uh, a uh, oh, what is going on what is going on here it's because I'm not pressing shift that's why here we go um, Yes, so uh, pretty much about here. I mean, so in the short term, take out these wicks. I mean, that would uh, we would probably see upside into into the resistance area. Um, but do I think that's going to happen? As as ever, the risk asset optimist uh, probably not. But um, we shall see. We shall see. Obviously, you guys know my views on uh, where this dollar is going. Bitcoin dominance um, just hold holding down at these lows as well. The Ethereum Satoshi pairing. Um, still trapped within our descending triangle. Um, yeah, so we're looking for a break of the trend line. Uh, we could potentially move this a little bit actually on on closer inspection. Um, yeah, could even move it down to about here, maybe even a little bit more. Um, or do we lose the base? Uh, we shall we shall see. Again, you guys, as 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 I am the optimist uh, on this. Um, oops, let's not do that. You guys will probably probably guess um what um where 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 i guess this will go wait let me just try and show this now there we go there we go there we go and then pull this down um yeah sorted look at that 
Um, but yeah, so uh, we are obviously watching the uh, this triangle basically break either to the upside or to the downside. The Ethereum USD pairing just trading sideways it's within a bit of a channel that we've had here for a while. Um, a nice bit of uh, price action above up to the 4K. Rejects it straight back down and back. Uh, well, at this channel here is obviously a higher, higher value, higher value relationship, higher value than we were down here. So that's obviously not the worst thing. Stair step our way up. Um, but yeah, um, not that we don't look at this too much realistically. Um, let's have a look finally. Uh, actually, that is everything on here realistically we wanted to look at. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. Um, back to back to Bitcoin then. Um, back to Bitcoin and um, yeah, I mean, let's look at the stochastics. Can we can we get this push up now? Can we um, come back up to test the top half? What I will say is, if we do turn around from here, this is the low, and we didn't even manage to get. Uh, down to test out our uh, 42 41 thousand dollar level that is obviously quite uh quite bullish um, i mean realistically looking at this chart going back um losing this level would have looked pretty bad but obviously this is just an important level to come and test but as you can see there is quite a bit of um of of um of price conflict of support basically here times we were supported so if we do get held here and turn back up i guess it it wouldn't um look too uh too too wild um but it just it would be quite bullish just because we didn't manage to get all the way down here basically that that's what i'm trying to say um but as you can see it is quite a a, a well tested area so it isn't just a it isn't um, as as minor support level as I probably uh, gave it gave it credit for in yesterday's video. Where I was saying realistically we should come down to here, um, but yeah, let's look at the stochastics. Are, are we gonna are we gonna be able to get some upward momentum? Four hour currently currently pointing to the upside, um, so it has got plenty of room to run if we can start get going. So I guess this gives us a little bit of a help. But the important ones ten twelve on daily. I mean. Yeah, as you, well, you can see, it's floundering a bit, the 12 at 10 hour. Uh, 12 hour has just turned back up, though, from a low level. So, I mean, if it does get going, 4 hour gets us, pulls us up a bit, this can get us going again. Uh, and daily looking to turn back up at some point, but still pointing down at the moment. Um, so, yeah, 2 day still diving down, 3 day coming down, weekly, uh, week 5 day turn down, weekly still pointing upwards. Um, and bi-weekly upwards as well um so i mean he's looking he's looking like we are just needing a few more days of uh sideways round about where we are that will turn the uh the daily 12 hour and 10 hour up and get them moving up and then yeah i think we could then um see basic well well at least at the very least an, an attempt an attempt back to the top of the range so yeah maybe we've maybe we have um longed it out enough down here um and we can uh potentially um potentially start to get moving now so the upside obviously 47,000 I mean get above 47,000 we pretty much will be turning that obviously turning up and moving up the 10 12 hour and daily uh, stochastic so I think at that point we will like I said have a good shot of getting up towards 50,000 um, and then yeah see what happens there do we break above do we get back up to the actual very top of the range um, on the first time of asking or do we trade some sideways and then move up um, yeah, we sh we shall have to see, or do we even put in a uh, a lower high relative to this high, start to come down and try and take this out and try and take take try and not take out, but try and at least test uh, the 41, 42 level. We shall we shall have to see. Obviously, I am biased. I am biased to the upside. Um, I don't think this uh, bull run is over. I do I think we are going to see a 100k Bitcoin um, in this run. Maybe it won't be this year. Maybe it'll be early next year, but. Um, things are still good in the space. I mean, there's still lots of development, lots of um, lots of um, enthusiasm, lots of um, um, lots of people buying, lots of institutions um, still still accumulating. Um, so yeah, I do think the space has got has got some some way to go. And yeah, I mean, they're just trying to foot us out, foot us out of our coins um, in in true market market manipulation um spirit um but yeah there you go guys uh this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research and i shall speak to you guys soon